Princess Eugenie's wedding is just days away, and from the A-list guests to the decadent chocolate and red velvet wedding cake, we know the affair is going to be lavish. However, Queen Elizabeth II's wedding gift to her granddaughter and soon-to-be husband probably won't be nearly as lavish as the one she gave Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. According to royal experts, it's rather unlikely that Queen Elizabeth will give the bride and groom their own royal property, a long-standing tradition for members of the royal family. In the past, the Queen has gifted luxury properties as wedding gifts, Prince Andrew was given Sunning Hill Park, Prince Charles was given Burke Hall, and Prince William and Kate Middleton were gifted Anmer Hall. As you may remember, the Queen gave Prince Harry and Meghan Markle York Cottage which despite the name, is more of a mansion than a cottage. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem as though Eugenie and Jack Brooks Spank will be receiving a similarly grand gift. The past two major royal weddings we saw were for Princes William and Harry, one who will be the future king and his brother. They are, and will be, full-time working royals for the rest of their lives. One of the perks of this is Her Majesty can justify the lavish properties she has gifted them in return for their duty to the Crown, Royal Central Deputy Editor Jamie Salmon told Marie Claire. Unfortunately for Princess Eugenie who marries Jack Brooks Bank this Friday, she is not working royal despite the tries from her father Prince Andrew to promote both his daughters to the role. Thus. Eugenie and Brooks Bank will probably not be writing a thank you card for an acre's arching royal property to Grandma. There are, however, smaller properties that could fit nicely for the newlyweds. Salmon points out. Royal commentator Eloise Parker agrees, also telling Marie Claire, it's unlikely to be as extravagant as the property she gave to Prince Harry as a wedding gift, because those gifts are usually only given to full time senior working royals. Eugenie has a successful career in the art world, outside of the royal family and doesn't fall into this category, Parker explained. While it may not be a Buckingham Palace apartment or a mansion-sized cottage, we have no doubt that the Queen will deliver when it comes to her granddaughter's wedding gift. We're looking forward to seeing what the princess's present just might be. Princess Eugenie's wedding dress has been designed by Peter Pilato and Christopher DeVoe who ensured subtle symbolic touches were incorporated into the stunning gown to pay tribute to the Queen and Sarah Ferguson. Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew's youngest daughter stunned as she emerged out of the Rolls-Royce Phantom Vi outside St. George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle. The 28-year-old's dress had a deep V with an off-the-shoulder sleeve showing off scars from the back surgery she underwent age 12. She had insisted her scars be shown to inspire others, Buckingham Palace said, after a tough childhood battling scoliosis. The sophisticated dress had a nipped and waist, and full skirt with long train, and no veil. On closer look at the striking dress, a jack hard print is seen with symbols of personal significance to Princess Eugenie. A thistle for Scotland acknowledges the couple's fondness for Balmoral, the Queen's summer estate. One of the photographs issued by the royal family ahead of the wedding showed Eugenie and husband Jack Brooks Spank walking in Balmoral on his 30th birthday. Also on the dress is a shamrock for Ireland as a nod to the bride's Ferguson family, and the York Rose and Ivy representing the couple's home Ivy Cottage. Pilato and DeVoe reinterpreted these symbols in a garland of rope-like motifs, woven into a jack heart of silk, cotton and viscose blend. The Peter Pilato brand is known for its innovative textile design, paired with a modern feminine silhouette. The palace said the princess has been wearing designs by the brand for several years, and worked with them on the design. Eugenie's sparkling tiara was the Greville Emerald Kokoschnik tiara, lent to her by her grandmother the Queen. The tiara was made by Boucher owned for Mrs. Grevel in 1919 in the fashionable Coco Chanel style popularized in the Russian imperial court. The tiara is made of brilliant and rose-cut diamonds pave setting platinum, with six emeralds on either side. It was bequeathed by Mrs. Grevel to Queen Elizabeth in 1942. Eugenie's diamond and emerald drop earrings were a wedding gift from her groom Jack Brooksbank.
Princess Eugenie wowed royal fans across the globe when she walked down the aisle in her stunning Peter Pilato wedding dress at St. George's Chapel today. How did Princess Eugenie's dress compare to Meghan Markle's? Princess Eugenie arrived at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle in a gorgeous gown fit for a royal ahead of her wedding to Jack Brooks Bank. She was wearing a white portrait neckline gown by Peter Piloto and Christopher DeVoe the bride looked gorgeous. The brand is known for its innovative textile design, paired with a modern, feminine silhouette. Eugenie also plumped for a low back proudly showing off the scar of the scoliosis surgery she underwent at the age of 12. Today's big reveal ends months of speculation on who Eugenie would wear when she walks down the aisle to marry Jack Brooks Bank. When Meghan Markle married Prince Harry in May, she wore a haute couture gown designed by British fashion designer Claire Waite Keller, currently the artistic director of Givenchy. They both chose elegant and simple design but Eugenie's dress had a few more details. The two also borrowed a tiara from the Queen for their big day. The Duchess of Sussex, 37, said she chose to work with Ems Keller for her timeless and elegant aesthetic, impeccable tailoring, and relaxed demeanor. The minimalist design was praised for its open-bottom neckline, offering just a peek of the Duchess' shoulders while also framing her slender silhouette. Meghan's wedding dress with its 16-feet train and veil which was adorned with the flowers of the 53 Commonwealth Count tires, is estimated to have cost a whopping £387,000. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry glowed as they returned to the site of their own royal wedding for Princess Eugenie's big day. Meghan beamed as she attended her first major royal wedding with her new husband since that day, and stunned onlookers with her fashion choice. Harry remained close to his wife's side, constantly smiling towards Meghan and the cheering crowds. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex married at St. George's Chapel in the famous castle during a glittering ceremony on May 19, welcomed by thousands of royal enthusiasts along the streets of Windsor and the ceremony watched by millions of people around the world on television. Despite only marrying Harry five months ago, Meghan has often been pictured getting along well with her cousin-in-law Eugenie. Eugenie also worked closely with Mr. Pilato and Mr. DeVoe on the design of the dress. The fabric was designed by Mr. Pilato and Mr. DeVoe at their studio in East London and includes a number of symbols that are meaningful to Princess Eugenie as motifs. The symbols are a thistle for Scotland acknowledging the couple's fondness for Balmoral a shamrock for Ireland as a nod to the bride's Ferguson family, the York Rose and Ivy representing the couple's home. Peter Pilato and Christopher DeVoe have reinterpreted these symbols in a garland of rope-like motifs, woven into a jack heart of silk, cotton and viscose blend. Princess Eugenie is gearing up for her royal wedding to Jack Brooks Bank. But while the royal revealed that she was not stressed about her big day, her fiancé admitted he feels otherwise. Brooks Bank spoke to the Daily Mail about his upcoming wedding ceremony, and shared that he has been feeling anxious about his big day. I'll need to take a few minutes for myself before the speeches because I'm terrified. It's very exciting but I'm a little bit nervous, he admitted. In contrast to her fiancé, Eugenie said that she was nothing but excited for her wedding day in a recent interview with British Vogue. I'm not stressed at all, Eugenie said in the magazine's September issue. It's very nerve-wracking because you want it to be perfect but then you realize that you are going to be with the person you love forever and nothing else really matters. And while the soon-to-be bride didn't give away any details of her wedding ceremony, Brooks Bank did reveal that he helped out with some of the wedding planning process. I've not been kept out of all the planning. I get to decide some things. I'm in charge of drinks and will be serving Kissamagos, said the 32-year-old liquor distributor, who currently works as the UK ambassador for George Clooney and Rand Gerber's top-shelf tequila brand. But despite working closely with Clooney, Uji Eaton's fiancé could not confirm if the actor and his wife, Amal, would be attending their ceremony. I can't say if George Clooney is coming. Brooks Bank told the Daily Mail. With their wedding officially a week away, the couple recently celebrated their upcoming union by releasing their royal monogram. The ornate china set, 
which includes a miniature teacup and saucer, pillbox, tankard and coaster, features an elegant intertwining E and J monogram. In addition to the couple's intertwined monogram, the princess has her own cup which features a solo E topped with a golden crown or an HRH, which stands for Her Royal Highness. Brooks Bank has a solo monogram of his own, too, but his J is left bare, without a crown. In other words, the monograms, released last week by the Royal Collection Trust, hint that Eugenie's fiancé may not receive a royal title while she will continue to carry hers, according to People. Eugenie and Brooks Bank's royal wedding will take place in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle on October 12, where Harry wed Meghan back in May.